So, um, what are we gonna do tonight, O.C.? Well, the same thing we try to do every night, but take her for the words. Uh, I mean, YouTube. Take her by YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer. Joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Pocktoto Bertram. Say hello, Bertram. Hello, Bertram. And this is my review for the Dark Pictures Anthology, House of Ashes. So my friends, House of Ashes released on the 22nd of October and is the third installment in the Dark Pictures Anthology, made by Supermassive Games, who also made one of my favourite horror games, Until Dawn. So, what exactly is House of Ashes? Well, I'm so glad you asked, dear viewer. This is a narrative-driven horror game, and just like Until Dawn, you have to make many many, many choices in this game, some of which may or may not get your characters violently murdered by some creature from beyond the grave. Uh, there's zombies in this game? Uh, not quite. Oh, I like zombies. Ah, well, then you'd get on very well with my wife. Stephen Bloody Hawking moved more than that woman, and was three times as attractive. Uh, uh, maybe two times as attractive. So, story. We play as several marines, who find themselves trapped in an underground Sumerian temple. Not long into the game, they encounter... Um, no spoilers. Oh, can I not just tell them that, um... Uh, no, you can't. Well, but what if I just... Um, no. Oh, fine. Instead of saying what they encounter, I'll just refer to them as Bertram's mother. Uh, um, what? So, our Marines encounter Bertram's mother. Now, Bertram's mother is incredibly ugly. So much so, you most definitely would not want to make love with Bertram's mother. Bertram's mother would rip your genitals off with her bare hands. Um, I told you that in confidence. I was able to stitch them back on, though. Uh, I was joking, Bertram. I didn't realize she actually did that. Oh, um, uh, well, I was joking too. Ha <laughs> ha. <clears throat> let's, uh, let's just move on. Oh, please. Now, after two installments of the Dark Pictures Anthology, featuring not a single real monster, ghost, tax dodger or demon, you will be glad to hear that House of Ashes features many, many, many monsters. Oh, yay! Now, don't get too excited, Bertram. Conceal that erection. There are children present. Uh, I don't see any children. Ah, uh, Roderick is a child. Um, Roderick is a guinea pig. No, he's a guinea pig child. So watch your fucking language. Oh! Um, are the monsters in this game actors in suits or CG? Oh, definitely actors in suits. Can't you tell? If you look closely, Bertram, you can spot the zip in the crotch area. Oh, yeah! 
Now, not only does House of Ashes feature real monsters, but there is actual gunplay. Oh, yay! Now, don't get too excited, Bertram. Conceal that erection. Again. This is more Call of Duty than Call of Duty. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, duty? You know, excrement. Oh! Also known as quick time events. You basically point at a monster, press one button, and a voila! That's the gunplay in House of Ashes. Oh! Ah, uh, yes, I, I see your underpants are as flat as a pancake now, Bertram. Let's see if we can give them a little lift when I tell you that I will be doing the laundry this evening. Oh, yeah! Uh, wait a minute. Why are you doing the laundry? Well, you see, my clothes may or may not be covered with blood. Because I may or may not have murdered my mother-in-law. Oh, say no more. Now this game very much reminded me of horror films like The Descent. But without quite as many breasts. Um, I don't get it. You know, because The Descent is mostly filled with women. And House of Ashes has only two female characters. Thus, less breasts. Ah, uh, no, I still don't get it. Eat your sandwich and shut up, Bertram. Uh, but I don't have a sandwich. Well, then just shut up. So, graphics. Now, like all of Supermassive's games, House of Ashes is nicer looking than America's ass. Um, I don't get it. You know, Avengers Endgame. Oh! Yes. So, what else can I tell you about the game, dear viewer? Uh, oh yes. Now this game very much reminded me of horror films. Like, um, we already did this bit? Ah, uh, did we? Uh, yes. Next you say, reminded me of horror films like The Descent. Well, that's not what I was going to say. I was not even going to mention The Descent. Oh, my mistake. <clears throat> now this game reminded me of horror films like the Descent too, but without quite so many breasts. Oh, all you did was change it from The Descent to The Descent too. You even did the breast joke again. Oh fine, let's just move on. Spoil spot. Uh, well, you did tell me to tell you if you started to repeat yourself. Yes, yes, because I'm old and impotent. I know. Moving on. Oh, I didn't know you were impotent. Does your wife know? Shut up, Bertram. <laughs> so, if it's not already obvious, dear viewer, I really, really enjoy this game. Now, if you like Until Dawn, Man of Medan or Little Hope, then I recommend you buy and play the hell out of House of Ashes. Therefore, I'm going to give the Dark Pictures Anthology House of Ashes a 9 out of 10. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, my review for House of Ashes. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then feel free to give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to hit that bloody like, subscribe, bell button, dingy. Feel free to share this video with everyone you know. But 
Remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer. And that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Say goodbye, Bertram. Goodbye, Bertram. Are you still here? Go away! I'm sure you've got something better to do with your time. No, seriously, piss off, be gone, au revoir, I'll be the same. Bye. What in the hell is wrong with you? Go away, vacate this space. Hit the cross at the top of the screen. The video is done. It's over. It's finito. It's caputo.